eight two by fours right there. Guys, I'm pretty excited about this log. This is a monster log. The tractor actually had some trouble carrying this one over here. This is the large end of this log right here, and it is 19 by 19, almost perfectly round. The other end is the smaller end, of course. I always try to put the small end towards the head of the mill, and it is 16 and a half by 19. It's kind of oblong. But what we're gonna do with this one, I've been getting framing lumber so far today out of the other logs, and this log, I wanna get some straight just one by stock one by however wide i can possibly get it so i think there's going to be some really nice lumber in this log so let's uh let's get to it
off that. Yeah, you are. You got plenty of lumber. Well, that turned out really good. That log yielded 12 boards, which are 12 feet, eight inches long, 12 inches wide, and one inch thick. So really, really good yield out of that log. Here's the next log here, and this one is actually more impressive than the last one. This one was 18 on the small end and 21 on the big end. And these boards are 14 inches wide. And this is the dead center right here. always enjoy these center cuts right here because you can kind of see the original sapling right in here in the middle these are 14 inches wide an inch thick and i should be able to get 13 possibly 14 boards out of this By the way, all of these logs that I'm cutting up are loblolly or southern yellow pine, and uh, some of them, a couple of them were standing dead trees when they were cut several months ago. Uh, others were green when they were cut down, but they've been laying on the ground now for a few months, but they're all, they're all in uh, really great shape. And it's nice, the age of them, because they're just, they've been laying down on the ground long enough so that the bark has started to come off, so I'm able to get most all of the bark off of all of them, which is great. That's really um, lengthening my blade line. If there's anything I can say to help, just let me know, yeah. I wasn't able to get this log through the gate right here with it lengthwise, so he's gonna try to just pull it through straight with the Can-Am.
Well guys, that is pretty well gonna do it for this one. I did not film those final two logs that you just saw us drag into the mill there, but what we did, uh, that very first tree that fell and basically exploded on impact, it was not salvageable at all. It was way too far gone. The second one that still had the top in it, it was salvageable, and I just basically cut the tree into two 17 foot long sections and got some one inch material out of that. So I was able to salvage that tree, thankfully. So here are the two stacks here. This stack over here is basically just a stack of framing lumber there are two by sixes true two by sixes and true two by fours in this stack and of course there's some weighing on various pieces of this but a lot of these that have weighing on them are still very very usable for just for some rough cut framing lumber and this is the stack of one inch material right here there are some really 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 nice boards in this stack these are all cut to one inch thicknesses various widths and the lengths are are something like 12 feet or something like that on most of them so uh, yeah it turned out great lots and lots of lumber that were salvaged out of those logs and I say salvaged because those trees had been cut down several several months ago and uh, they would have just laid on the ground and rotted but I was able to come over and take the mill and get some usable lumber out of it there's about 1300 and this is kind of a rough measurement there's about 1300 board feet in these two stacks right right here so there's a lot he can do with these a lot of y'all will remember this shed build right here that we did a few months ago and i'll put a link to that video if y'all are interested in watching it but these boards right here are i believe these were tornado trees or tornado logs that were blown down and i was able to bring my sawmill over and cut up some usable stuff out of it. and he ended up putting uh, putting siding boards on his shed with uh with that material and i think it looks really good guys one more thing before i wrap this video up this blade that's on the mill here is one of the blades from southeastern metals up in woodbury so last on the last video i went up there and kind of went through the whole process and took a factory tour which was pretty cool and saw how these blades were put together and i've used these blades before but not really with a whole bunch of logs like this and just a whole bunch of sawing at once and i have to say it, it did really well this blade is the original blade that i put on at the beginning of this video it was brand new out of the box when i put it on and it cut all 1300 board feet of that stuff i'm not sure totally sure how many logs it was probably around 15 logs maybe and it cut all of those just fine and it's still got it's still got lots of life left in it i even cut my knuckle with it at one point so uh it's it's in good shape and uh I'm, I'm totally happy with it. By the way, this is not a sponsorship or anything. I bought these blades with my own money, but um, I'm impressed with them, and uh, they're a really good alternative to more expensive blades. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I really appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you on the next one.